Good morning. It's Thursday, June 10th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Crowns of Glory and Grace, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 2. And furthermore, it is not angels who will control the future world we are talking about. For in one place the scriptures say, What are mere mortals that you should think about them? Or a son of man that you should care for him? Yet for a little while you made them a little lower than the angels, and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them authority over all things. Now when it says all things, it means nothing is left out. But we have not yet seen all things put under their authority. What we do see is Jesus, who for a little while was given a position a little lower than the angels, and because he suffered death for us, he is now crowned with glory and honor. Yes, by God's grace, Jesus tasted death for everyone. The writer to the Hebrews was pressing a familiar point to people who have always experienced trials and oppression, his fellow Jews. But in a broader perspective, he was talking to everyone who trusts in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have placed your faith in Jesus' act of taking your judgment for your sins on Calvary's cross, the grace that drove that sacrifice, where Jesus tasted death for everyone, prepares you for a crown of glory and honor. This passage also says clearly that angels who in their complete obedience to God surround the throne of God will not be the primary object of God's affection in the coming kingdom. God's honor will be showered upon those who love his son Jesus. The simple math of this thought is, if we love Jesus now, his grace and glory will be ours then. The pressing issue of what to do with all the trials of living in the kind of world that now exists is also covered by this math. God is leading through every moment of pain and suffering imaginable, and the grace that sustains us will one day be transformed into the glory that is life eternal in the presence of the Almighty. Paul said it this way in Romans chapter 8. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. For you today, your life story may read like a success manual, blessings poured out like the Niagara River spills water over the falls. Or it may read like Jean Valjean's diary in Les Miserables, suffering piled on top of injustice without measure. Someday, God is going to straighten out whatever is crooked and set it right whatever wrong existed. And for those who love Jesus, that grace and the crown of glory will be an eternal reality. As Horatio Spafford wrote in that great hymn of the church, you will also be able to proclaim, It is well with my soul. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.